It was a little over a month ago that I facilitated a work session for a PR marketing firm. They landed their biggest client, which was an insurance company that was in the process of a complete brand and business transformation. The reason why they sought my help was because of the challenges that they were experiencing in getting the teamwork right between the two companies. Now, I brought these two teams together for a work session to discuss what was working and what was not and how the partnership could be improved. And it was during this work session that I led a discussion on, on what I thought were the basics. And those were what were the business objectives that the insurance company was trying to achieve and what was the value that the PR marketing firm was supposed to bring to the table. And then the, the whole session got really interesting. First of all, neither team, including the insurance company, had any real clarity on the business goals that the business and the brand transformation was supposed to drive. No one could articulate the reason for the change and what success looked like. And then when we got on the subject of what was the value for the PR marketing firm and what they were supposed to add, there were competing perspectives. Some thought that the PR firm was supposed to implement some of the insurance company's ideas. Others thought the PR firm was supposed to provide the strategic direction. It's no wonder why the team was having such a hard time working together. They had no real clarity of their shared work and goals, and then they had no idea how they were to work together to achieve those goals. And it was in, during this work session that I got crystal clarity on the difference between contracting and partnership setup. The company I was helping did a great job landing a contract. They were extremely successful in landing business that earned them more per client than they ever had before. But what they didn't know is what their partnership was supposed to look like with that company. So let me share with you the difference between contracting and partnership setup. Contracting is the process of entering into a formal and legally binding agreement. A contract is what outlines services what will, that will be provided in exchange for what fees. Partnership setup, on the other hand, is so much more. It's inclusive of contracting, but it also intends the other necessary elements of teamwork that includes three things. One, the client and consultant's partnership is built upon a shared understanding of the presenting issues and challenges and the business impact of those issues and challenges. This starting point sets the direction and the scope for a strategic partnership. This expanded scope is what allows a consultant to provide options and recommendations that extend way beyond what a client may have initially asked for. So the first aspect of partnership setup is when a consultant helps a client move away from whatever solution that they have in their mind and become explicit and clear about the business performance gaps that they want resolved and the return on investment for closing those gaps. Two, partnership setup is also about helping a client become explicit and clear about the value or outcome that they want to achieve by virtue of working with a consultant versus simply doing the work on their own. As I've stated several times in other videos, the number one competitor that other consultants have is not other consultants, but rather clients choosing to do the work on their own. Therefore, to establish a strong partnership, a consultant has to become savvy about drawing out of what the client is expecting him or her to bring to the table and the expected return on investment for the partnership, not just the project. Three, partnership setup is also about building trust and peer-to-peer -peer positioning that motivates a client to create the conditions for consultants to do their best work. Relational trust is built on contracted expectations. What the client wants and needs from the consultant and how he or she engages the organization as well as what the consultant needs from the client. So, how savvy are your partnership setup skills? Download the assessment and find out. And when you're done, Join me in the next video where I'll share even more reasons of why it's absolutely in your best interest to go beyond contracting and excel at partnership setup.